guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Many of you asked me to record tutorial how you can create a digital frame in Adobe Photoshop for your photo to share with your friend, to display on your website. And today I will show you how easy you can create your digital frame in Adobe Photoshop. So guys, let's jump. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop and I have created a simple document. Uh, of course, guys, you can create your simple document in any size or you can fill your document um, with any color you like. I'm using today for my background like a light shade of gray color. Now, I will create a new empty layer just like that. I will click on filter menu. I will click on render and here I will click on picture frame just like this. In Adobe Photoshop, we have a lot of pictures, uh, frames, uh, templates we can use in our workflow. If you will click on a uh, frame um, icon, um, you will see that we have a lot, a lot of frame templates we can use right away. We can use, we can start implementing all these frames in our um, um, design right now. Today I will show you how you can create your um, frame using a art frame template. I will click on it and voila. First of all, what I will do, I will change color for my frame. I will click on wine color icon and I will specify that I would like to create my frame is in dark uh, brown color. Now I will adjust a margin value. Um, you can um, Again, guys, you can uh, create your uh, frame in any size you like. Margin value will affect us uh, to the size of your frame. Keep it in mind. A size slider are responsible for a uh, size of your frame inside the frame, not outside the frame, not the border of the frame, inside uh, the frame. So keep it in mind as well. Arrangement. Arrangement will affect to the light of your frame. Um, pay close attention to it, especially if you have, if you uh, using um, your uh, example, a picture of uh, any room or any scene as your background layer. Be careful with arrangement value because arrangement value, as I said, affects to. Um, the light on your frame. So you can uh, adjust a light of your frame to um, complement your background layer using arrangement uh, slider. Keep it in mind as well. What I will do, I will move my arrangement slider about um, 59. Now I will click on advanced and here what I would like to do, I would like to increase a number of lines in my frame. And as you can see, uh, value um, number of lines affects us uh, to your uh, light as well. Keep it in mind as well. I will move my, I will create num specify number of lines to probably, let's see. Um, I even don't know what I want. Um, let's do 13 yeah. or 14. Yes. And I will click OK. And Photoshop creates in, uh, um, frame for you. Remember guys, I ask you to create a new layer for your um, uh, uh, picture frame. Why? Because now my frame um, located on a separate layer and I can adjust my frame in the way I like. What I will do right now, I will scale size of my frame down just like that and I will reposition it in the middle of uh, my uh, document just like that and I will click OK to tell Photoshop Yes, Photoshop. I'm accepting all changes I applied to my frame layer. Let me rename my layer. Frame layer. Frame. Just frame. Frame number one. And I also I will rename a background layer to background. Just like that. Now I have highlighted my background layer. I will create a new layer on top of my, my background layer, but below my first frame we just created with you. And I will click on filter menu, render and picture frame one more time. Here what I will do, I will just change color for my frame. I would like to use um, gold color for my frame. And also I will change um, 
a number of lines. I switch to advanced um, workspace and I will change number of lines to two, just like that. And I will click OK. And one more time, Photoshop creates a new layer with a new frame. I will rename this layer to frame number two, just like that. And again, because I created my frame using a separate layer, I can adjust my layer in a way I like. What I would like to do, I would like to scale the size of my second frame down to locate it uh, inside my first frame. If you would like to scale your layer not proportionally, simply click and hold shift key just like that. And you will be able to scale uh, your layer unproportionally just like that and i will click ok to tell photoshop that yes photoshop i'm accepting all changes one more time for now i will as, uh, highlight my background layer i will click on a uh, restangle tool and i will specify fill color to white i don't need any color for uh, my um stroke because i will be not a uh, um applying stroke uh, i will not apply stroke to my uh, restangle shape and using restangle restangle tool i will create this simple shape inside of my uh, frame just like that and this is our white mat inside of our uh, frame time to bring our image inside our frame you can um pull your image from uh pull out your image from any location from your local drive from your google drive for um dropbox from anywhere you like for my um tutorial purposes i have a few images um i took on vacation in my creative cloud library I took a lot of images on my vacation, but for um, this tutorial, I have only four in my vacation folder. As you notice, um, you can organize your Creative Cloud of, um, library by folders, and I have recorded um, a specific tutorial about this. To add any image from your Creative Cloud library into your open document, simply click on any image you would like to use and drag it inside your document. And look at this. Photoshop cre uh, creates a new layer with your uh, image and uh, you can um, adjust your image before you will accept all uh, changes. What I will do, I will scale size of my image down just like that and i will reposition it inside of my frame picture frame just like that and i will click ok to accept all changes look at this now i have uh, my image inside my frame uh you can tell victoria we're done we have our frame we have our picture inside our frame but why if we will uh, if we if we will add a few more adjustments a few more personal touch touches to our frame our frame will be much much better so what i will do I will click on my um, rectangle um, shape, um, rectangle tool again. In the options bar, I will specify, you know, Photoshop, I don't need any fill color, but I would like to use black color for my stroke, just like that. And using rectangle tool, I will create a simple shape outside of uh, my um, sunrise image, just like that and voila definitely you can adjust a size for your stroke i will bring size down to probably about 1.87 pixels and definitely what i will do i will um uh resize it again if you would like to resize your uh, shape not proportionally click and hold shift key just like this let me adjust tough size and i will click ok to accept all changes and a look at this this is our frame now we will add a few more uh, personal touches to my frame to our frame i have highlighted my um white uh, matte uh, layer remember guys we used a rectangle tool to create um a uh, white rectangle inside our frame this is our white matte now Yes, again, I will uh, click on Restangle tool and I will use dark shade of gray uh, color. And I don't, I'm sorry guys, I will 
let do it undo i will uh, i have highlighted my aristangle um let's do again again i have highlighted my aristangle um layer my white um matte layer i will click on um aristangle tool and i will create this simple shape inside my frame and now it's easier for you guys um specify that um uh i would like or you would like to use dark shade of gray gray color for your um shape just like this this shape represents our shadow inside our frame um first of all i would like to apply blur a uh, filter to my shape i will click on filter blur gaussian blur yes please photoshop convert my uh, layer to smart object and i will increase um, radius uh, value for uh, my um, uh, layer just for my rectangle just like that and i will click ok now i will bring down a opacity of my uh, shape just like that and this is our perfect shadow inside our frame we have shadow is inside our frame but also if you will look around if you will look at any um, frame you will see that if frame has a glass um, on top of the picture you will have kind you will see reflection uh highlight uh, on top of your uh, glass we will create highlights just right now with you i will click on uh, rectangle tool one more time and i will create uh, this simple shape again inside the frame just like that and now I will ask Photoshop to fill my shape with white color and I don't need any color for my stroke. I will click on my um, shape and I will move it on top of uh, my picture. But look at this guys, because I have created my shape, my highlights under my picture layer, we cannot preview this uh, highlight. What I will do, I will click on uh, my highlight layer and I will drag it on top of uh, my picture layer, just like that. And here I will bring down opacity of my layer, just like that. I will click on filter, blur, gaussian, gaussian blur. Yes, convert to smart object again. And I will bring down a value for my radius, just like that. Maybe something like that. And I will click OK. Now I need to bring down opacity of this layer. Just like that. And look at this. We have our beautiful frame. The last step I would like to apply to my design. I would like to uh, create a shadow between uh, my frame and the wall because uh, this frame will cast shadow to the wall. Uh, before you will start creating a um, shadow on top of your uh, wall, keep in mind um, your uh, light. Uh, remember guys we have created a shadow inside the frame so uh, obviously let me create a new layer on top of all layer uh, obviously our light uh, come our light comes from here look at this so uh, this picture will cast a shadow here and here let's do it I will highlight my background layer. I will switch back to my um, rectangle tool. Just like that. And I will create simple rectangle shape behind my frame. Just like that. And once again, I will specify that I would like to use darker shade of a gray color and I don't need a stroke color just like that. And look at this. Um, you can leave this shadow as it is. In this case, uh, you, um, your viewers uh, will assume that you have very harsh light. Um, 
in your scene but if you have a very harsh uh, light you will have um, uh, more um, shadows and highlights inside your frame because we don't have harsh shadows and very sparkly highlights um, uh, in our frame i will um uh, create more elegant a more transparent shadow uh on my wall i will do i will apply same steps guys what i will do i will go to filter blur gaussian blur yes and um i will increase um radius to probably um let's do it to yes to 16.2 and i will click ok also of course i can bring down opacity of my layer just like that and look at this now guys we have perfect frame um, for our um, image for our photo uh, i can give you one uh, last uh, advice for this tutorial um before you will create any frame Pay attention to your uh, picture you, you would like to frame. Pay attention to all colors inside your uh, picture you would like to frame. Uh, example, for this image, you can create um, more uh, gold and um, um, you, you can apply gold color um, to your uh, frame or more sunrise colors to your frame. Uh, keep it in mind so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today i hope you like my tutorial if so just subscribe to my channel share my um tutorials my live streams are super appreciated also guys i would like to say thank you for all your support again super appreciated if you have any questions just let me know i'm here to help you in a way i can if you if you have any tutorial in mind you would like me to record for you or stream for you just let me know and i will do it for sure again guys thank you so much and i will see you later bye